All right, what's going on, guys? Here we go, Sniper Commentator Tournament Game Two is about to start up. Got my co-host Lefty with me. What's going on, dude? Not much. Just still reeling from that great game we saw on Firing Range just a few minutes ago. Yes. Hoping was, for more of the same. That was hoping a for game. more of the same here on Summit. And I do think that we're gonna see uh, some fireworks this game. Who are you going to start off with? I'm going to go ahead and start off with uh, Jay Brooks because I have high hopes for him. He's a, a B sniper. He pretty much plays only search. So, you know, he's very uh, concentrated on them one-on-one -on -one, uh, confrontations. So I think he's going to pull it out. Who are you going for? Um, I mean, I got my I got money on my boy Jimmy Brooks. Uh, you know, he's the one that brought me into search and destroy sniping. Uh, but you know he's been he's been talking a lot of static. I'm gonna say that right now because he can't hear me say it. Uh, he's been talking a lot of static, talking about what he's going to do leading up to this uh, sniper commentator tournament, and uh, and I want to see if he can live up to it, especially considering that he almost slept through it. So yeah. I, I'm questioning where his motivation's at. He was very close to being uh, kicked out of the tournament, were replaced by someone, but in the nick of time, he sent me a message and uh, he got in. So, um, again, guys, the game is going to 50 kills. The top three contestants will move on to the next round. And it looks like right now Aimbot, the leader of Darth, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who that is, is in first place. 7-2. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to Aimbot. So it looks like Jimmy's choking a little bit, man. Well, that's fine. As we saw, as we saw in the uh, in the last game on firing range, it is a marathon, not a sprint. And exactly. a lot of uh, you know, we're going for top three, and somebody can come out of nowhere. But this is not surprising from Aimbot. Aimbot is a tremendous sniper. Uh, just because he makes montages, just because you don't see a lot of gameplays from him, doesn't mean that he isn't capable of playing this type of game. Indeed, he is, and he's really good at it. Yeah, Aimbot is a beast. I play, I play with him all the time. And, uh, you know, always impressing me. And he's coming out with uh, a beast montage. He has some uh, amazing clips. And, you know, you'll probably see that in a, in a few months here. But um, it looks like he's, he's breaking away, man. He's, uh, he's ahead of the pack, 12-3 and three in uh, second place. is Mr. Blake MC with 7-4. and four. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see him uh, in the next round unless his controller dies or, you know, his dog eats his, his Xbox or something. Well, he just got a nice two feed there, so I don't think... <laughs> I think he'll be fine. <laughs> but again, we're going to 50 kills, so a little bit past uh, fifth of the way there now with Aimbot surpassing 15 kills. Now he's 15-4 and four in this free-for-all sniper commentator game on Summit for those of you just joining us. And how do you just join a video? Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're not live streaming this. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I just, it's a, it's a habit. Thing. I got you, I got you. Um, so we're going to switch over to... Uh, Jay Brooks, we're going to see uh, if he can uh, come back and uh, make a strong push to get into the top three. You know, something, uh, A-Drive has been kind of sitting there lax. Uh, I just want to make that note before we switch over, over to Jimmy. A-Drive has been not doing a whole lot, so I wonder if he can make a push if he's just biding his time until he can, looking to get on that great run so he can make a push for the top three. Because as we see, I Fear and uh, Blake McTriple are uh, are separating themselves from the pack. So Jimmy, A Drive, and uh, and Superman have to have to do a little work right now. And uh, you gotta you gotta imagine that these guys are just a little nervous. You know, you only get uh, really one game to show uh, what you got. And mm -hmm. uh, you know, I can I can I can understand it's a little nerve wracking just you know being in a competitive environment. Even though we're playing, even though we're playing for fun, there's no real prize here. You know, it's just almost like um, uh, what do you call it? Like bragging rights, I guess mm -hmm. you could say. And you know, some of these guys are competitive guys. Uh, I know for a fact that Aimbot is quite competitive. Jimmy Brooks is the same way. Uh, so they, they don't take losing lightly, even though it's just for bragging rights, even though there's no definite prize on the line. They, they have emotions invested in this, and they want to do as well as they can uh, to represent their own channels and to, and to represent your channel. Yeah, definitely. I would be too. I mean, I'd be, I'd be trying my balls off, obviously, even though I don't, I don't care. Even normally in just open lobbies, I mean, there's nothing on the table. It's just for fun. But, I mean, who wants to play a game and not give it your all? You know, mm -hmm. that's just, that just shows uh, character. I mean, you don't have to uh, be in a serious, serious mode to, to try hard. 
So now we've got Aimbot who's reached the halfway point in kills. He's at 25. He is setting the pace. Six ahead of the second place mark with Ifear, uh, who is tied with Superman 40, followed by Blake McTriple, Ravenous Yums, A Drive, Jay Brooks, and Overt Overt Flow. I think that's Overt yep. Flow, not that's Overflow. It. But you know, I don't know what to say. Uh, Jimmy Brooks, 10 and 17, 10 and 18 now at this point, having a having a rough go of it. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear about some kind of connection or lag issue uh, <laughs> when I talk to him later about it. Well, I'm just wondering if he's fully awake because it looks like he might have overslept and, uh, you know, not got fully awake or got any warm-up games. I think this is his first game. Most of these guys have been playing for a few hours and they're warmed up. And um, this is Jimmy's very first game and he didn't have time to warm up. Well, he's going to have to do something really special. I don't know if he can do it. The The mark now, the cutoff, is now 20. That's where it's at uh, for third place. Jimmy is now at 10, so he's going to have to go on a hell of a run. Uh, but, again, the top three, Aimbot, Ifear, and Blake McTriple. Again, Aimbot setting the pace now. Ifear catching up, 27 to 25. He is only two behind the leader, Aimbot. Uh, you know, what's what's going through your mind right now if you're in second place, Blaine? Are you are you saying, you know what, I'm going to try to bide my time. I only need to go top three. I, I You know, I don't need to go try anything crazy. I don't need to make a huge push. Or are you trying to make that huge push? Definitely not. Uh, in my mind, I want to be first place. Uh, and the more that I want to, you know, make it to the top, that's the more comfortable I'll feel that, you know, second place and third place is not gonna is not gonna come up and sneak up on me. Like I'm gunning if I'm Fury right now, I'm gunning for Aimbot and being only one kill away, it seems like um I see a, a few guys moving around a little too much. It almost it almost seems like in a, in a free for all like this, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to move around as much when you just you just stay stay close to the spawns because if you move around too much, if you're sprinting, then it it, it gives you um. It gives you a disadvantage because someone who's not sprinting and they're staying still or just walking, they can zoom up faster on you. So, so these guys that are moving around a little too much and pushing the engagements a little too much, even though in free for all you do have to push engagements, especially you know in a sniper free for all. But um, mm -hmm. I'd like to see a little more um, patience. Right, and again, we're looking at now a drive and aim or not a drive, aimbot and ifure are tied for the lead at 31 kills. Followed by Superman with 28, followed by Blake McTriple with 27. So the top four spots, it is a definite race. There, there's, there's bunching at the top three spots. So it's going to be, it's going to be interesting coming down the wire here towards the end of this game. Who is going to separate themselves? Who are going to be the top three? And who is going to move on to the next round? And I got to be honest, even though he's my boy, Jay Brooks, just not doing it today. Uh, well, not yeah, happening. And uh, he, he asked for. Um, a class for the uh, variable steady aim class, and uh, you know I granted I granted his wish, but I told him I said uh, you know I don't I don't think five shots is enough for a free for all like this, and um, you know with steady aim your reload time is going to be pretty bad. You only got five bullets, mm -hmm. and it looks like he just paid the price right there because uh, you know he ran out of ammo when there was a guy right in front of him, and he took a death because he had to reload. So if he was using maybe a sleight of hand class. Or that variable, or that warlord variable class, then uh, you know he could have he could have got that kill. So you're a fan of extended mags for a free for all like this, in terms you, of just chaining together kills you so have, you don't have to stop you to reload. Have to have to have extended mags. If you, I even put extended mag sleight of hand class. That's I'm not I'm not sure exactly if I would use uh, the sleight of hand class or the steady aim class, but. Um, you run out of bullet fast. I mean, when you get in these little close engagements, you can miss a lot of shots easily when you're dancing around with another sniper. And um, usually the, the sniper with the most bullets in his clip at that time will win because if somebody runs out of ammo, you're dead. I mean, you're not going to have time to reload, especially with sleight of hand. You barely have time to reload. So um, I know a lot of guys are, are accustomed to the variable zoom and, um, you know, have an advantage with the variable zoom in their mind. But um, you definitely need at least 10 bullets or sleight of hand. And now, now we're definitely nearing the end of this game. We're about 11 kills away. Aimbot with 39. Now 40 is leading the pack, followed by Superman with 38. 
Blake McTriple with 36. I fear has hit a bit of a rough spot. Now he's 35 and 36. Definitely slowing down from where he was and definitely needs to make a push. If he wants to be in the top three, he's going to have to beat out Blake McTriple or even catch up to Superman and Aimbot if he can. But he's going to have to start, you know, reaching for that extra gear. A Drive, Jay Brooks, Ravenous Youngs, and Overt Flow. I don't think they have as much of a chance. Uh, you know, you can hold out hope uh, for the best, but really in the, at the end, they they have a lot of ground to make up and basically no time to do it. So it looks like their their ran, run through the tournament will be short-lived. But Aimbot again leading with 43 kills. Uh, do you like sleight of hand on a sniper, Blaine? I, I don't ops? ever use it. I don't ever use it. I mean, I do like it when I do use it, but uh, the type of player I go for, like I go for no scopes, and you know, when uh, when I need to no scope, it, it'll save my life sometimes. So I use steady aim most of the time. I've been using um, Scout Pro recently because um, you know it just helps with the uh, with the holding your breath when you're when you're on big maps. It, it helps me hard scope a lot, and um, you know. I find steady aim is is really great for after you're sprinting. It, it does help your timing to mm -hmm. for when you're sprinting to scope up. So that's that's a big reason why I use steady aim as well. But um, it looks like Aimbot only has four more kills, and Blake McTriple and Fury is still battling. It's, it's any man's game. Right, it is. And, you know, something I noticed, we're not seeing a lot of dominated kill feeds by any one player, which is a stark contrast to what we saw in the first game. Would you agree with that? Well, it's, it's, as Superman gets a two feed. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess right when uh, the game started off, and that's the game right there. Aimbot takes it with a two-piece game with a kill cam. We have oh, and Fury just missed about one kill. Well, two wow. kills actually. So now we got Aimbot, Superman, and Blake McTriple moving on to the second round. So uh, man, this, the competition is going to get better and better. It's going to get interesting. And thank you for everybody for joining, and thank you, Blaine, for having me on. Yes, sir. I will see you next game. All right, peace. All right, buddy, peace.